the city of uh, Toronto employee campaign. You will be hearing many stories over the coming weeks of lives cut in Toronto's communities by the incredible work of United Way and its member agencies. I believe that part of my personal story is that I would not be where I am today if it work for community agencies akin to United Way in rural Ontario in the late 60s and 70s in Durham and then in Niagara, community groups and helped to ensure that our struggling large farm family had clothes on our backs and food in our stomachs and the same applies to Toronto communities under United Way help. Now I'm president of TUPI Local 79 representing inside workers at the City of Toronto TCHC Bridgepoint Hospital. Community engagement and support for the United Way have become big priorities for Local 79 over the past years. In fact, at Local 79, we wanted to make sure that labor was represented at the highest levels of the United Way effort to support Toronto's communities. That's why Local 79 was the first labor organization to sponsor and participate in the United Way CN Tower stair climb last year. The president did it in 18 and a half minutes. And that's why I will be climbing the CN Tower twice this year. Once in the President's Challenge on Thursday, October 17th, and on Sunday again with the Local 79 team. Yes, we truly want Labour to be represented at the highest level of the city, 1,766 stairs high. However, I speak today not only from Local 79, but from as one of two Labour representatives on the campaign cabinet, and as co-patron of the City of Toronto and United Way employee campaign. Labour has been a long-time partner in the United Way. In fact, Labour has been there since the beginning, in 1956, as one of the founding partners of the United Way, and we continue the tradition through the efforts of individual unions and through the supportive work of Labour Community Services. Labour representatives work together with community partners and with employers at the United Way Campaign Cabinet, at United Way Toronto, where Leslie Chang from Local 79 sits on the board, and also here at the city. The 2013 United Way City Employee Campaign is a joint effort, as has been mentioned, together with various unions and staff represented. QP Local 79 represented myself, Local 416 represented by Mark Ferguson, Maureen O'Reilly, I'm Irish, I ought to be able to say it, Irish background, O'Reilly from QP 4948 at Toronto Libraries, Toronto Professional Firefighters by Mike Ogle, Ogley on behalf of President Ed Kennedy, who I understand I owe the golf tournament to, um, and from Katapsa, Richard Matchcott on behalf of President Mike Major. These representatives of public sector workers here at the City of Toronto and libraries and other agencies deserve a round of applause for stepping up to support Toronto's communities. I also want to give a shout out to our management partners in the United Way effort here at the City, principally City Manager Joe Pettichetti. Co-patron Benner Patterson, who both who have agreed to work together with labor representatives to support Toronto's communities, and Mohammed, uh, Sharia Project Lead. Finally, a shout out, a big shout out from labor to the hundreds of volunteers that will be collecting donations on a day-to-day -day basis, working hard throughout the campaign. Not much longer, folks. As we launch the 2013 City of Toronto Employee Campaign, it is important to recognize two significant challenges facing us as we all work hard to achieve our fundraising goals. First, Toronto communities are facing increasing challenges with poverty. At a recent public forum I attended, former Mayor David Crombie was asked what were the biggest challenges facing Toronto today. Out of the myriad of challenges, transportation, environmental issues, other infrastructure issues, he chose to, to name income inequality as the biggest challenge facing Toronto today. And according to United Way report, quote, the number of high poverty neighborhoods in Toronto has more than quadrupled over the last 30 years, from 30 in 1981 to 136 in 2006, and this trend does not seem to be abating. In order for Toronto to succeed, we need to succeed together. And in order to do that, we need to build healthy and socially sustainable communities. Members of the United Way agencies play a huge role in supporting communities, 
and in order to support, support United Way agencies, we need, need more donations. This brings me to the second challenge. United Way donations in the public sector from public sector employees are down nearly 10% over the last few years because the public sector and its workers are also facing increasing challenges and resulting low morale. It takes courage for representatives of workers, particularly for representatives of public sector workers in times of fiscal restraint to look beyond the impact on members and the morale of members in order to benefit communities and our members we, and the communities we serve every day. So again, I think these representatives should be congratulated. It is a substantial move for representatives of employees and for management here at the City of Toronto to come together in the face of both of these significant challenges to help Toronto's communities in a time of need. I hope the media are listening and report this. They should tweet this, people should tweet this like crazy. Here at the City of Toronto, labor and management are putting aside our differences and focusing on the common goal of sustaining communities, of community building. This should be front page news tomorrow. Media, are you listening? Um, we will work to together to do whatever we can to support this campaign and the volunteer canvassers as they do their work. Through this joint effort, I am confident that we will not only meet our campaign goals, but surpass them on behalf of Toronto's communities and their needs.